Back in the main area. And Fred Squall with the plasma rifle. Seems that most of the combat is located in the central area in this match. I've seen other matches. And when you are in that central area, it's best to be up there and not down there on the ground floor because then you could be in trouble. It says the armor. Nice shock frag by Gitz. Squall still hasn't got a single frag. He tries his best. And now he has one. Shock has made his first frag. Squall made his first frag using the minigun on Gitz. So now Gitz has to find some armor really fast. Otherwise he could get killed, and he does get killed. Squall is coming back into the game. It gets treated. It has to find some weapons, because with only the Enforcer against a pulse gun, it won't be that of a success. Squall has a minigun. And a shield belt. 100 health, so he can inflict quite some damage with that if he's fast enough. And God, Gitz is fast. Gitz 77 health. Charging up with the rocket launcher. Going upstairs. At the sniper rifle. Sniper rifle still hasn't been used in this match. Kids is equipped with it now. But Squall, Squall saw that coming. Still the sniper rifle. And Squall responds to that with a minigun. Kids has 93 health for the moment. My Squall has 114. Switching to the minigun. Kids was lucky there. Squall had charged up some rockets and he just nearly dodged them. Waiting for the power up. There he has the armor. 104 health. A lot of armor. There they meet again at the glass ramps. And Gitz killed his own cell. That means no points for Squall. But one frag less for Gitz. He's still in the lead though. With 11 frags. Against two for the Italian. Score him for the top ramp where Gitz is. Tries to go back. They both got killed there, so nothing changes in the score. Squall has a flag cannon, but that doesn't add up to the power of Gitz's minigun. I've seen Gitz play in, in the practice room and he has a very distinct play style, like he has he had his keyboard tilted upside down, almost. And what seems like a very low mouse sensitivity. It's an awkward style of play, but it probably works. Because you don't get world champion with a config, that doesn't work. Meanwhile, Squall's down to a 30% health. And Gitz taking the lead now with 13 frags at 11 more than Squall. 
So if Squall wants to have a chance at winning this game, I suggest he starts up racking up some frags. Gets 116 health, equipped with the shield belt and the flag cannon. That's one hell of a fighting machine. Take some more health files. 136 health now. And there's some sniping going on. Minigun versus pulse rifle. And the pulse rifle wins. Another frag for Gitz. With five minutes left in the game. Squall has to do something now or he will lose this match. But if you see Gitz playing, it'll be very hard for the Italian to be better because Gitz is so fast. He isn't the world champion of 2001 for nothing. That was a nice frag. Gitz has the shield build again. Still had it, but he took it anyway, so Squall can't take it anymore. Some nice intense firefights in this match. Which for the most part gets this one. Gitz is really pumped up with armor now. Still 122 health. So that's nearly invincible combined with the minigun he's holding. Oh, Squall was very lucky there to have those health packs. He was going very low on health and now he's back up to 79. No armor. So, I hope, yeah, that's what I was, that's what I wanted to say. He ran into Gitz and it was over in less than seconds. Squall has a shield belt now, 100 health. Minigun. And Gitz is trying to take a headshot. With the sniper right. Shot combos. Oh! He ran right into that rocket. And he does it again. Gitz has got 18 frags. 19 frags, that is. Compared to the two of the Italian, I think we can already conclude that Gitz is a stronger one on this map. And it seems like he has gotten his act together after earlier today when he nearly lost to Belgian Dorm. One hundred health for Gitz. Fifty-four health for Gitz. He decided not to retreat, but then again he has nothing to lose, so why not just play very aggressive? and take some frags just for the fun of it. The mighty flag cannon and squall life again. 22 frags for Gitz, 2 minutes remaining. 23 frags for Gitz. Ooh, that's not a good idea. That's right, taking on Gitz with a flag cannon and trying to take him on with an enforcer. Let's get punished by death. Squall still trying to take some frags, al although he knows that it doesn't make a difference anymore. Because with one minute remaining in the game, oh, that's for the fairly intense firefight. It's not possible to make 20 or more frags in just less than a minute in the game. So. Gets 6 to 1 health. Has the armor, the flak cannon, with one minute left remaining. Try some secondary flak fire. Crouches, which is very wise in the central area, because if you crouch, you can't get a headshot.
Shock rifle versus the minigun. Squall has the shield belt, has the minigun, 100 health. But with 30 seconds left, that's not enough to win this game. Gitz is just unstoppable, people. He's unstoppable. He's 22 frags ahead of the Italian. Five seconds and counting. People, this match is over. Gitz has won this convincingly. Germany takes this game.